Volume 21 is where you'll find the fun and inexpensive project, The Magic Photo Cube by Ken Wade. This project can easily be done in a couple of hours and should only cost you a couple of dollars, because all you need is a piece of wood, some clear packing tape, and a glue stick. The first step is to get an exact measurement of the width of your wood, because we're going to be making eight square blocks all the same size. After marking out those eight pieces, you'll want to cut the wood. I used a band saw, but you'll want to use a precise saw of some kind. I also sanded each side of every block to try to make them as uniform as possible. After your eight blocks are finished, you'll want to put them in the shape of a cube. Try to get them lined up as best as possible. In the article, Ken used black tape to show us exactly where our clear packing tape was going to go. You'll see it's on all sides of our cube except for the bottom. Then we'll remove each piece of black tape and replace that with our clear packing tape. You'll want to make sure it's on there really good, and then I used a sharp razor blade just to trim the tape. If you've taped it up right, you'll be able to open up this cube and form another cube showing six different sides. Now it's time to get our photos ready, so I used Photoshop and designed a template that was two and three quarters square, imported the photos I wanted to use and paste them in the square, and then printed out each photo. Now you'll need 12 to complete the magic photo cube. Once the photos are printed out and cut out, it's time to glue the photos to the cube using our glue stick. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this, and one would be to glue the entire photo onto the cube and then carefully trim it with a razor, but be careful not to cut through the packing tape that you placed earlier. And the other way would be to cut the photo into four squares and then glue each square. Once you've glued the six photos on the one side of your magic photo cube, you open the photo cube up and glue the other six photos on the other six sides. Now your magic photo cube is complete when it's opened up it will reveal six different photos. After building this, I noticed it's very important for those blocks to be perfectly square, to fit right. Mine were a little bit off, so I tried to sand them as best I could. So if I were to do this again, I would make sure the blocks were perfectly square, and then the photos would be pretty seamless. So that's how to make a magic photo cube for under a couple of bucks. And we'll see you next time with another weekend project. <music>